Hi, I'm Lynette and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you swatches of the Midnight Kisses hashtag Lip Stories lipstick set from Sephora. If you like swatches, then go ahead and consider subscribing because I do them along with makeup hauls, tutorials, and reviews here on my channel every Saturday. Okay, so basically in this video, I'm sort of kind of rounding out my holiday shopping, my holiday makeup shopping. I'm just trying to think if I ordered any other stuff from anywhere else. Yes, I did. I did order some stuff from LA Girl, so I'll be showing you that later as well when it comes. <laughs> But this was the last of the holiday shopping that I did at Sephora. They were having, you know, they had their 20% off sale and then they extended it like, I don't know, three times VIB Rouge got to shop the 20% off sale. And then they had a 20% off all sale items. And so this is where, when I picked up this little baby, I forget what the original price of it was, but the sale price was like $14.50, something in that um, area and then I got an additional 20% off and these lipstick these are their these are the Sephora lip stories lipsticks they um, retail for eight dollars a piece so in this set you are actually getting six for the price of like 10 11 bucks that I got it on sale. So I thought I got a great deal on it. I actually do have, I don't have it with me here, but I actually do have one of these lipsticks already in this really nice light lavender shade. And I like it, it's the matte lipstick. In the set, you get a um, combination of metallic cream and matte finishes. And this is what they look like out of the box. The box was kind of pretty. It's got that holographic. Um, a lot of people are doing that now. The, the holographic coloring, um, which is perfect for holiday, really. And then inside are the lipsticks. And of course, what attracted me to these lipsticks when they first launched from Sephora, aside from the price, eight bucks, is the packaging. They're so cute. <laughs> Every one comes in a different package, which is so pretty. Now, I should tell you that all of the lipsticks are full-size lipsticks. So again, at the sale price, even without the 20% off, at the sale price of $14.50, you're getting eight, you're getting six, excuse me, six full-size lipsticks. So again, I just I just thought it was a really good deal. And which is unusual for sets, especially lipstick sets. I do tend to buy lipstick sets, but not very often because unless I feel like I'm getting a really good deal because more times than not, I don't like all of the colors that are included in the lipstick set. So I'll either have many of the colors that are in the set or there will be colors in it that won't work for my skin tone in the set. So I end up just not buying the set because out of maybe five lipsticks in the set, maybe there's two that I really like or that would work for me. So I don't, I buy them infrequently, but this set, um, actually just about all, maybe one probably may not work so well for me, but I think I can get it to work. Um, I liked all of the shades in it which was unusual. So, I mean, hey, for like 11, 12 bucks, I, I couldn't, what, I couldn't resist y'all, I couldn't do it. Now, I will say the packaging is cheap, it feels cheap. Um, I think it's cardboard, so it's, um, it's, it's not the most luxurious or even hardy of packaging, but again, it's $8, although, uh, Colourpop makes $7 lipsticks and their packaging is gorgeous and quite luxurious and heavy duty by the way. So Sephora, you can do better. You can do better. So all the lipsticks are numbered and this is number 12 and it's got fireworks on it. The pink packaging on the outside kind of gives you a preview of what the shade of the lipstick is inside and this is this one, um, this beautiful bright fuchsia 
And again, this is number 12. And I hate to even swatch it because it's so pretty. <laughs> and on the side, I don't know, let me see if I can um, show you. On the side of every lipstick, it tells you what the finish is. So this one says hashtag matte. So it is a matte finish. And I haven't tried any of these lipsticks yet in this set, um, but swatching this one, it was very smooth and creamy to be a matte lipstick. So very, very pretty bright fuchsia. This is number 12. This one is number 33 and it's got marshmallows on its packaging. And this is what the color looks like. And it's really, really, really deep. I believe it's a deep plum, but it's so dark. It looks like it could be really dark brown. And it is not a brown. It is, in fact, a deep wine color. And it's a matte and it also swatched fairly creamy. This next one is number 22 and it's got red lipstick lips all over it and it is a red and it too is a matte. This is number 22 and it too swatched very creamy. The lipsticks, they say on the bottom that they're made in Italy, so hoo-hoo. <laughs> this next one is number two, and this is the packaging for it. It has a holiday theme on it, and it's a clock. And this is what this one looks like, and it is a cream. And this is number two, and it is creamy. And this is the one lipstick that I wasn't sure would work for me but I think I can make it work if I put it on with, of course, my chestnut lip liner and maybe uh, a pink or a brownish type lipstick, uh, lip gloss over top. And this one is number 51 and it has festival lights and it says so on the side here, festival, li festival lights. And this one has a metal finish. It says hashtag metal on the side and it is a coppery bronzy shade. And that is number 51 and it's a metallic copper bronze, more like a copper shade. And last but not least, we have number 31. It has a bobsled on it, um, a sled, and it says Golden Gate on the side of it. And it too is a matte. And I'm sorry my lighting keeps going dark, but it's a berry, a deep berry shade. And this is what that one looks like. Again, this is number 31, and it's this beautiful deep berry shade. And it's also a matte, it also applied very creamy. I did see some reviews on, Sephora, on Sephora's website um, of people complaining that these weren't very matte. They weren't matte at all. Um, they wouldn't describe them as matte. And I could certainly see that in the way that they apply because they all applied, except for the metallic shade, they all applied very creamily. Creamily, is that a word? <laughs> very creamy. <laughs> Um, and didn't really look matte. They, they sort of had a little sheen to them. So um, I don't know if, and, and the set is predominantly made up of matte lipsticks. So if you're not into matte lipsticks, you might not be into this set. But then if they're not really matte, like typical matte lipsticks, they might not be bad for you. You might want to try them out um, if they're going to be more comfortable, less drying and less matte and a little more comfortable. So I think I'm going to like this set as well. As I said, I like every color in this um, set except for the one creamy shade, that one really light nude shade that I'll probably be able to get it to work, but we'll see. And even if I don't, if I can't get it to work, I mean, for 10, for what, 11, $12 that I paid for this set, if one out of the six doesn't work for me, it's not going to be the end of the world. That is it for the swatches of the Sephora lipsticks. I would love to know 
if you own any Sephora lipsticks. Have you tried these lipsticks? Do you like the formula? What do you think about them? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked this video and got any value from it, by all means, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing because I do swatches, tauls, tauls. I do swatches, hauls, <laughs> makeup reviews, first impressions, and tutorials here on my channel every Saturday. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope to see you again next week. Until then, bye-bye.